insectivores. They will eat uh, fruits. They'll drink the juices from the fruits. Very, very fast animals. They're diurnal animals, actually. They'll actually uh, uh, wait during the day, unlike the other lizards you might see in here, the other geckos you'll see in here that are uh, nocturnal. The sacs you see on the side of the head are actually tax, calcium sacs, and they're actually, that, they get that from the amount of calcium they When they got big sacs, that means they've got a lot of calcium in their body. This other gecko you're seeing now is a uh, Fembriotis, uh, your place Fembriotis, which is a giant leaf-tailed gecko. These guys are nocturnal, so typically these guys will be eating during the nighttime. Uh, you see they got those nice big eyes, which are good for seeing at night. This is a green mamba. They come from Africa. They're one of a very, very highly venomous snake. They uh, mainly have a uh, nemotoxin, uh, which they use to neutralize their prey. They'll actually inject that neurotoxin, which affects your nervous system. It shuts down your nervous system, so pretty much you can't move your body. Um, these guys mainly eat uh, rodents. They'll eat small mice and stuff like that. Uh, they are more of a boreal species, so they'll spend a lot of time in the trees. These guys are strictly vegetarians. They'll eat stuff like uh, lettuce and fruits and veggies and stuff like that. Uh, these guys are pretty tough animals. Uh, they got really, really rough skin. Uh, that's nice protection for them. They live on more island type structures where they're only uh, predators or pretty much birds of prey. This guy here, uh, as you see, he has a horn up there. That's just a, through evolution. Uh, that horn might have been used, it might have been a lot bigger as his dinosaur, former dinosaur self. It would be a lot bigger and used as fighting or mating or something like that. Uh, but now it's kind of worn down and he could still use it for a little ramming, but typically they'll use that tail back there for whipping. They'll actually whip stuff with that tail and uh, as more of a defense and they'll stand up, say I'm big, and they'll stand up all four legs and just get that body nice and big and show themselves and show they are. Also you can kind of see is a little dewlap under their neck and that's actually characteristic of the males and they'll puff that out too when they get real angry. Also they do a thing, a head bobbing thing where they'll actually they'll head bob and it's a characteristic of a lot of reptiles will do that. They'll head bob and say I'm the bigger male I deserve this female type thing. These guys can grow up to lanes of about 18 feet. They're not the largest snakes, uh, but they are in the family of the largest snakes. Now what he's doing now is just kind of checking out his area. It's nice and warm in there. It's probably a temperature of about 80 to 95 degrees in there. And he's just got a lot of energy, so he's out checking out the area. Uh, as you'll watch his face, you'll see his tongue every now and then. He might stick out his tongue and kind of check out the area, see if he can smell anything, see if he smells any food around. This guy actually only eats about once a month, actually. He'll get one meal, and then uh, he'll digest that, and uh, he'll conserve that energy, and then wait until his next meal.